What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rumors and Debates. How are you? I hope you had a wonderful NFL draft yesterday. Let's jump into this. We are going to jump into pretty much who won the draft yesterday. Who was the big winner from the NFL draft yesterday? And you guys know I'm an Arizona Cardinal fan, diehard, and you know I've been watching, pretty much making these videos for about a month now, two months for NFL. And I've been trying to say how much I'm looking for CeeDee Lamb and how important it is to get Lamb not to go for an offensive lineman. But if you watch my videos, it was also, if Isaiah Simmons drops, everything changes, right? And those of you who know that and commented, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Guess what? The New York Giants did what the New York Giants always do. They mess up. They let Isaiah Simmons go. We knew five and six needed quarterbacks. And then pretty much, I believe the Panthers had their hearts set on Brown. So we just got a guy who could easily have been in the top three picks for the number eight pick. And look, I wanted CeeDee Lamb, and for me it was bittersweet because I liked Lamb so much, but I also, when well, I told my son, once I seen the Giants pick an offensive lineman, and I made that video yesterday before this even happened, I said, if the Giants go offensive line, forget it. Simmons drops, and then this whole thing changes, right? So you know Steve, Steve Kime had this. He was like, well, if Simmons drops, we're getting Simmons. Like, that was in his head. All right, so I wanted Lamb, but once Simmons dropped, it was like this to me. I, I knew it. It was down deep inside, you're like, oh, God, it's got to be Simmons, right? But either way, we were going to win with that. It wasn't going to be an offensive line. So congratulations to the Arizona Cardinals and congratulations to us Cardinal fans because we got it. We got a player who is no longer going to have guys go up the middle and have a freaking field day, especially tight ends, just killing us. There's no more going to happen. So what's going to happen now is the Arizona Cardinals are going to have a beast defense. But I will jump into that in a few minutes. I am going to talk about all the picks and who won. Let's, and we'll go through about every thir about 30 seconds each pick. Cincinnati Bengals got what they had. Joe Burrow, they knew what they needed. This was already given. They needed a quarterback. You know, they suffered for a while, and Dalton wasn't their answer a long time ago. He tried. They did good, but it wasn't enough. Good luck to the Bengals, right? You got a great running back in Mixon. Hopefully Green comes back healthy. Cincinnati fans are fun. I hope you guys do well, and I hope you found your quarterback. We understand. We did the same thing you did last year, and we got our franchise quarterback, so great. Number two, Young was obvious going to the Redskins. There's no way they were passing on that guy. That guy's a monster. They need help on defense. This was just a no-brainer. They weren't going to go quarterback. They, they wanted to keep Haskins, and rightfully so, right? They could have won quarterback if they thought Haskins wasn't going to do well, but he very much will be better and with this defense getting better and better it'll give the redskins a lot more opportunity to be on the field more and smart pick piggyback on that let's talk about defense again okuda that was a great pick for the lions we knew that people were saying he was going to drop no he wasn't nobody was letting that guy go from three all the way down to six or seven that doesn't make sense this guy is a phenomenal cornerback he's going to change the lions defense for sure and the lions needed that because they can score they can score. Galladay's a monster. They can score. It's just the fact that you need help on defense, and that's the guy you start with, just like when we got Patrick Peterson a while ago. Now here's the number four pick that changed everything. If the Giants get Isaiah Simmons, who knows what happens. But no, they decided to go for Thomas, who is a big, good offensive lineman, but I don't know about as a number four pick. They need help on the line, but how could you let a guy like Simmons go when you guys were giving up a ton of points? I, it just doesn't make sense. They always make stupid mistakes, this team, you know? So, okay, so the Giants let him go, so now everything is going to change. Then let's go to number five, right? The Dolphins told Josh Rosen just what the Cardinals did. We don't think you're good enough. We got somebody better, and they went for a guy like Tua. I knew it was Tua, not Herbert, just for the fact that Tua is a little bit like more fits the Dolphins offense. You can see uh, Flores is creative. They like to move things around. So I can see this doing well. I don't know if they're going to just jump, throw him right into it, especially with the injury, but we'll see what happens. But I like the move. Then the Chargers. There was a little uncertainty if they were going to go quarterback, but for me it wasn't because why not, right? Why not? You need to go quarterback. You've had such a talented team for so long, and Phillip Rivers has kind of just killed that with his stupid interceptions at time and his bad attitude. And Herbert, hopefully, is their answer. I don't know if he is, but they had to take the chance. Now we're getting a little bit deeper into it. Let's go number seven. I believe the Panthers had Brown no matter what. I believe that was their heart. They needed to fix that defense, and they probably wanted to just start with Brown on the line because Brown is just such a big guy, and he 
takes double teams sometimes, so the point is for them. It's like, let's start there and then build from there. And I, I get it. They must have had their hearts set on him from the beginning. Some teams are like that. Regardless of who drops, we're going to stay with our guy. And they did. And now we go to the Arizona Cardinals. Again, I was C.D. Lamb. I'm sitting there with my fingers crossed. But again, I just said this before. I knew Simmons when he was going to drop, everything was going to change. The Arizona Cardinals won the draft. Right? They just won the draft with this move. And I'm going to tell you why. The Arizona Cardinals offense is good. I think they need to get better and Kirk needs to step up. They're going to have to get better, right? They're going to have to help Hopkins out. That's for sure. All right? Remember, we won five games last year. They could have been more record, but Hopkins doesn't necessarily make you win six or seven more games. You got Somebody else has got to step up. It cannot just be Hopkins and Larry. It cannot, okay? However, this defense is going to make our Cardinals get on the field more. So all those missed opportunities is going to help. So let me go tell you why. Murphy is just going to be a better player than he was last year, and he was really good last year. I love what I've seen from him. Then you got the amazing player in Chandler Jones, who is phenomenal. Patrick Peterson has a lot to prove, and I guarantee he has a better year this year. And then you sign Phillips on the line, which I love. But now you get a guy in Isaiah Simmons, who there's nobody going up the middle. Right? And Simmons is so fast that you can move him around the freaking field. So now, think about those guys. Think about a defense trying to go up the middle with some of those guys over there. I wouldn't want to go up the middle. So what that does, it's a swing, right? It's like basketball. I always mention this. Somebody's going up for a layup, you block it, you get two points the other way. That's what I can see the defense. So if Arizona gets a field goal or if they miss in the red zone, okay, I feel like now it's not going to be the defense comes out, gives up seven points, and we suffer. What's going to happen is now, the defense comes on the field and either they're going to get three and out or they're going to get an interception or a fumble and then Arizona's offense is just going to get better and better but they need people to step up for sure the offense is going to need to step up and I'll make a video later about that and what I think and where we're going to be at but Arizona Cardinals win the draft okay let's go to the Jaguars they go for a cornerback in Beckham excuse me Beckham they go for a cornerback in Henderson right they lost Ramsey I I I get this move. I'm not too thrilled with it, but I feel like they need to start with defense and they need to go there. And I'm just going to skip around real fast because I, I kind of want to just look at the Jets for a second. Becton, to me, okay, was a, a good move, but I know you got to protect now, but who are you throwing to? What are you doing, right? You don't think you needed a receiver? You don't think that, I, I just, I don't get it. I, I could see Miami doing better than that. You've got a good quarterback. You need help. Bell is getting older at the running back position. You need receivers. You cannot expect just to block the down. You need somebody to get open. Look at Brady. Nobody can get open for him last year, and that's Brady. You need guys to make moves on the receiver position. So you got a guy in Beck. I, I, I'm just... I'm not, I'm not great. I'm not familiar with that move. I don't like it. I just don't. I, I'm not feeling that move for the Jets. I think they made a big mistake there. They had a good shot at any one of their receivers, and I think they messed up. That's my opinion. Let's go to the Raiders. The Raiders, John Gruden is known for being different, right? I was looking for him to get CD Lamb because I don't want the Niners to get CD Lamb. But what did he do? Okay, what did he do? He looked for a guy that fits his offense. And he skipped everything. He skipped over the two top receivers in Judy and Lamb, and he went for rugs. And you know what? I love Gruden because Gruden feels like he knows what he's looking for right away. So if anybody's going to do research, it's Gruden. Good for him. Then all of a sudden, the 49ers did this one move. They moved. They knew Tampa Bay was going to get an offensive lineman, so they changed it a little bit. They knew they weren't going to lose their piece. All of a sudden, Tristan Wirfs, who fell down a little bit, goes to a team where he's going to need to step up. And this is the best thing for Wirfs ever. The best thing for Tristan Wirfs because now he has to be on a team to block for Brady. They're going to teach him. So you have a lot of pressure to block for Brady. You know that. So this is this is their thing. They need an offensive lineman. They got it. Now San Francisco. San Francisco didn't go receiver right away. They were doing the smart thing, right? I thought they were going to go CD. I was crossing my fingers. No, but... I believe they did the right thing for going for Kinlaw because Kinlaw is another freak and he's just getting better and better. And for me, they knew they had another pick later. 
and they did get a great receiver later in Ayuk. So they lost Buckner, and now look what happens. They replaced him. Their defense is going to be monstrous with Kinlaw and Bosa. Oh, my God. That's why I'm talking about Arizona needs to score, bro, because you go up against teams like that who can win the division with that defense, you better score. DeAndre cannot do it himself. That's what I was trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the, the, in the truth. People want to say, oh, Kirk, all this stuff and everything like that. But Kirk has all that pressure. So the 49ers do that. So you get a little bit more than let's get to the Denver Broncos, right? The Denver Broncos, to me, I'm not sure if... Sorry, I have the baby crying. So the Denver Broncos, right? They get Jerry G. They get a guy they're looking for in a receiver because they definitely need somebody to help block, right? I'm not sure how he's going to do. I, I'm not too familiar with how Denver is when it comes to having a young quarterback and then having a guy in like Judy who to me is a little bit undersized. Now, here's the deal. They have a wonderful play receiving Sutton, so I think the pressure will be off Jerry and I think he'll be a great number two. I'm not too sure if, again, I'm feeling them move because I thought Lamb was the better option in that situation. That's just my opinion. Because I think Lamb was so physical that would have helped Denver. Anyway, I'm going to skip real quick. I mean, I'm going to talk about the Cowboys. The The Dallas Cowboys got C.D. Lamb, my guy, the one I wanted. And they get this guy in C.D. Lamb who is just going to dominate. He is going to dominate in Dallas in that offense. Everybody's going to go, holy shit. I, we should have picked up C.D. Lamb earlier. C.D. Lamb is going to do amazing in Dallas. Thank God that he's not in, in uh, San Francisco. But San Francisco felt like they had a better need in, for Kinlaw first because of Buck, so I get that. But thank God he's not in our division. Good luck to Dallas for that because I think that was a great move. I think you guys have a, a really good team. If Ezekiel stays, and sorry about Prescott's brother. He lost his brother today. But Dallas will do very well. They got their guy. And CD dropped way more than he should have. That's my opinion. But overall, right, and that's just trying to sum up this. Overall, I believe the Arizona Cardinals get an A-plus for what they want, right? And if you want to talk about a couple more winners to me, really fast is I think the Cowboys are a winner for getting a receiver that late of that talent. I think the Raiders are a winner because rugs fit well. I think the 49ers are winners. They did extremely well also. Let me go for the losers. The Giants lost right away. They made The Giants were the biggest losers to me by going for that offensive lineman that early. I believe they lost the Jets. The Jets made a big mistake in drafting but th those two made a big mistake and i know guys i'm sorry that i skipped the cleveland browns but cleveland browns got judge wills right and i believe that that was a smart move because they had receivers already right they had their talent they had running backs so they needed to block for baker mayfield so cleveland did a very good job there and i'm sorry that i skipped that but i was skipping around really fast for me the Arizona Cardinals get an A plus plus if I could do that. That's my opinion on this. I think there was no way in hell that anybody expected Simmons to fall to eight. And I, I am so excited for the Cardinals this year, man. I, I can't tell you. And get ready. They are going to take over the Seattle Seahawks, and they are coming for San Fran. It's going to be interesting. And I will make a video later on the, the Arizona Cardinals and their whole team. And I'll talk to you guys later, all right? Bye.